Hey guys, I've got so many questions on how I painted these florals using dagger brush, which is my favorite brush. And I tell you guys, I'm so obsessed about this brush right now that I can't wait to show you guys how I achieved this painting. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe my channel. This is Escoda Perla, or in size one fourth inches. It's got real long bristles, and then I've got some water here and a kitchen towel and this is just a regular uh, bistro cold pressed watercolor paper which was in the size A4 and I just like cut it down for the purpose of this video and here I have paints mixed this is cobalt blue with some uh, viridian hue we're going to mix a very thick um, uh, pigmented color and then we're going to make one portion of a very diluted color of the same color so I'm going to add some water very quick so the very first thing that we have to do is dip our dagger brush in the water and just put this aside saturate our brush completely In the water mixture that we just created so now we're gonna just take our kitchen towel and try to remove the excess water and with this tip I'm gonna just kind of touch my brush okay and remove I hope you can see it I'm just kind of touching my brush here and removing the excess paint so that I don't have a blob of paint on my tip notice that I'm just touching the tip of my brush now we're gonna make the flower I'm kind of pressing just the tip of the brush and wiggling If you want, if you're comfortable, just kind of move your paper. I'm dipping my brush again on the paint. Remove the excess paint. I'm sorry. Remove the excess paint. Okay. Try to be as close to the center petals. Piggle your brush around. So here I'm trying to focus on the center of the flower. But at the same time, I'm wiggling my brush to get a nice petal. So here you can see the petal is very dark, which I really don't want, but that's okay. So I'm focusing on the center of my flower. At the same time, wiggling my brush so that I get a nice individual petal for each flower. There you go. So I got this pretty flower. So now we have to move around making four petals or maybe three petals or two petals or one petal depending upon how you want your bouquet arrangement to be. So I'm going to just move around and do the same thing uh, for the entire uh, paper to make a nice looking bouquet. So we're going to try and do a three petal um, flower which is again wiggling the brush. I hope you can see guys okay and this is how it is so here i just put three did a three petal flower So I'm just randomly picking up places. I'm just kind of wiggling my brush up and down. And every time I load my brush with the high pigmented color that we just mixed. Okay, looks good.
so we'll try to tuck in many flowers as possible and as close as possible so you can decide however you want to place your flowers your flowers might be uh, just like kind of a bunch of flowers in the center or maybe scattering around here and there so it all depends on what you want to do so i like my flowers to be really close and tucked in under each other so that it looks really uh, expressive so this gives an illusion of the fourth petal which is tucked inside uh, the uh, the petal which is just right above it wow it's looking so pretty i just love these colors notice that i am just not doing five petal flowers everywhere so i am kind of randomly just doing five petal flower um, at few sides and then four petal flowers and i'm just tucking in wherever there's um, enough gaps so that i can tuck one petal or two petal flowers so um just kind of experiment and kind of enjoy what you're doing and um it'll just look expressive Alright guys, I'm done with the petals. I'm going to just go ahead and add some stems and leaves. I'm just randomly deciding where my uh, stems uh, should be attached on each of my flower and just randomly uh, putting stems here and there with some leaves so that it looks really interesting and doesn't just look like a blob of stem everywhere that's it guys i think we are done with our painting i'm really happy with the way things have turned out so hope you give a shot and uh, try uh, to just get some tips out of what i've done today and uh, send me um, any questions you have regarding colors brushes and i'll be more than happy to answer all your questions bye